Today, we will test Zorin OS Lite version on a PC with just 1 GB of RAM, but before we proceed with the OS, let me provide you with some information about Zorin OS. Zorin OS is essentially a modified version of Ubuntu, specifically tailored for laptops that are around 15 years old. This operating system allows you to run Windows applications and games seamlessly. Now, let's move on to the computer screen, and I'll guide you through the remaining process. Let's roll. First, you need to open any browser on your PC and search for Zorin OS. After that, click on the first website that appears. Then, click on this button. If you prefer, you can also purchase the Pro version, which offers additional features. If you want to download the free version, scroll down a bit and choose the free version. After selecting the version, click on the Skip to Download option. I have already downloaded, so I will cancel it for now. So guys, after downloading the files, now we will select a partition where there is no data. You should take a minimum size of 30 GB for the partition, so that there are no issues during installation. After selecting the partition, you need to insert your USB drive into your PC. Once the USB drive is inserted, you need to run Rufus. Now you need to drag and drop the Zorin OS ISO into Rufus. After that, keep all the options below as they are and click on the Start button. So, the process has started, and it will take around 20 to 25 minutes to complete. One eternity later. After the process is complete, simply restart your PC. As soon as your PC restarts, you need to press the boot key multiple times. In my case, for my compact laptop, the boot key is F9. It might be different for your laptop depending on the brand. Once you access the boot menu, choose the option for USB storage devices and your pen drive will boot. If you wish, you can test this OS before installing it, but I want to install it, so I will choose the first option. Before starting the installation, it will check your hard drive for any errors, and it will take three to four minutes. One hour later. After the check is complete, you will see two options. You can choose to test it once before installing, but since I want to install it, I will click on the Install button. After that, you need to choose the keyboard layout and click on Continue. Then, you have to uncheck all the boxes and click on Continue. This step is crucial, and you should not skip the video from this point onwards. If you choose the first option, the OS will install on any hard drive, which can be quite risky. Therefore, we will choose the third option. Now, right-click on the partition where you want to install Zorin OS and then delete it. Make sure you select the drive that doesn't contain any important data. After that, right-click on the free space drive and choose the Add option. Here, allocate the amount of RAM you have, for example. If you have 1 GB of RAM, allocate 1 GB here. Below, you will see two options, logical and end of this space. Choose both of these options. Now, select the swap area and click on OK. After that, right-click on the free space partition again. Choose the add option, select these two options, and choose ext4 from the drop-down box. Then, in the mount point, choose the slash option and click on OK. Now, select the newly created partition and click on the Install Now button. Now, click on Continue. After that, choose your country, then set up a username and password. Finally, the installation has started, and it will take approximately 40 to 45 minutes to complete, so let's wait for a while. 2,000 years later. Once the installation is complete, your PC will restart, and you will see the boot menu from where you can choose Zorin OS or access your previous windows as well. For now, I will select Zorin OS by pressing Enter. So, guys, Zorin OS has been successfully installed. However, it seems a bit slow at the start, which could be due to the limited RAM in my system. If you go down, you can access system apps from here. In conclusion, I would say that if you have at least 2 GB of RAM and a dual-core processor, then only consider installing this OS otherwise. It might not be suitable. I also tried to test this OS on my 2 GB RAM computer, but I encountered an error saying no operating system found. This means Zorin OS was not detecting my Windows system. Therefore, I had to test it on another laptop. So, this was today's video. And I hope all your doubts and questions related to Zorin OS have been cleared. 
And if you have any questions, you can ask me in the comments.